Growing children and expectant mothers in rural India today have nutritional needs that cannot be met by simple rations available. In rural areas, mothers and growing children have greater need for energy-rich food, but the cost is prohibitive for the poor. To address this need, KHPT and the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition have collaborated with the government of Karnataka to innovate a unique, self-sustaining manufacturing business model and have already implemented this model in two village districts in Karnataka. Multi-sectoral nutritional project in the Prayuka Wagi, Namara Karnataka Rajdali, Yaraka Kade, Pran Wagi there, Wondo, Chinchori Matu, Nama Rajdilea, Devurga Taluk Nali. Raw materials are ethically procured and locally sourced using needs assessments and standards set by the World Food Programme. The materials are then hygienically stored. Once procured, the ingredients undergo state-of-the-art precision manufacturing processes such as cleaning, aspiration, destoning, roasting, cooling, grinding, pulverizing and mixing. Standardized processes ensure the right ingredient ratios, roasting temperatures, particle sizes and nutritional analysis of the finished products. The result is an energy-rich, fortified, blended food product. First day, when the Takshana Namuk machine got loaded, he did a gift. Did you ever call it? Did we? Any land? Martha, Martha, how can we? I'm very happy. The factory workers have formed their own self-help groups and collectively agree on working hours, production targets, division of labor, attendance, and management. Safety standards, hygiene protocols, and personnel training have all been thoughtfully executed to produce a high-quality, low-cost product. The factories currently focus on three types of food products, one aimed at children, one aimed at adolescent girls, and one aimed at pregnant women and lactating mothers. Each of these humble facilities can produce two metric tons of finished product every single day. We have 30 volunteers, 12 members of plant workers, 7 8 members of female supervisors, plus a plant manager. The factories are all operated by women and women lead each of the supply chain stages from procurement, loading, manufacturing, process monitoring, labeling, packaging, dispatching and even distribution to the beneficiaries. The program teaches women how to produce, how to run a manufacturing facility, how to run a business, how to drive trucks, delivering not only their products but also driving their empowerment.